Philip Phil C. Lork is an Irish-American professional poker player and a poker commentator, now residing in Los Angeles, California. Lork holds a World Poker Tour title, a World Series of Poker bracelet and has appeared on numerous nationally aired television shows. Early life, Lork was born in Dublin, Ireland, raised on the east coast of the United States, and now lives in Los Angeles and Las Vegas. He graduated from the University of Massachusetts Amherst with a degree in mechanical engineering and worked in varying jobs prior to getting into open poker games in California. He is a former roommate of fellow professional poker player Antonio Esfandiari. Prior to his move west, Locke lived for several years in New York City where he honed his skills as a backgammon player before turning his focus to poker. Poker career, Locke learned to play poker as a child. His first major tournament victory was at the World Poker Tour Celebrity Invitational in February 2004. He has made two other WPT final tables since, sixth place in both the Season 2 Battle of Champions and the 2005 Five Diamond World Poker Classic. At the 2005 World Series of Poker, Lork finished second to Johnny Chan in the $2,500 Pot Limit Hold'em event. Lork defeated Ram Vaswani to win the inaugural William Hill Poker Grand Prix, taking home the A150,000 pounds first prize. He has also competed in numerous Poker Royale series. Lork appeared on seasons 2 through 7 of High Stakes Poker on GSN, and served as the dealer on the short-lived television series E. Hollywood Hold'em. Lork was a winner of NBC's Poker After Dark earning the weekly prize of $120,000. The tournament was entitled Phil Phil, because both Phil Lork and Phil Helmuth were contenders. Apart from Lork and Helmuth the table consisted of Doyle Brunson, Antonio Esfandiari, Jennifer Harmon, and Eric Seidel. He again won $120,000 in the nicknames episode, defeating Annette Wabrestod, Mike Matasso, Antonio Esfandiari, Eric Lindgren and Phil Helmuth. At the 2007 Conference of the Association for the Advancement of Artificial Intelligence in Vancouver, British Columbia, Lork and fellow professional player Ali Islami competed against, and beat, Polaris, a poker-playing computer program developed at the University of Alberta, in two of the four rounds with the remaining rounds being a loss and a draw. In 2008, Lork made a cameo appearance in the Knight Rider television movie, where he was credited as Poker Pro. Lork has written a monthly column called Being Phil Lork, in the poker-themed Bluff magazine, since late 2005. Lork co-hosted a show called I Bet You on the with his friend Antonio Esfandiari where they can be found betting on any and all things. Lork also played in the 2009 Aussie Millions Cash Game Invitational. In October 2009, Lork was crowned PartyPoker.com World Open V Champion winning $250,000 in the process. He overcame a final table that included Lukeful Flush Schwartz and Lork's long-term partner, actress and poker pro Jennifer Tilly. In early January 2010, Lork launched his own online poker site, Unabomber Poker. The site, which features cartoon-style graphics, is a member of the Cake Poker Network. On September 16, 2010, Lork won his first WSOP bracelet by winning the A2500 currency buy in six handed no limit hold a Euro unregistered trademark M championship at the 2010 World Series of Poker Europe. His win came after an accident involving an all terrain vehicle in August, where he suffered a broken elbow amongst other injuries. An E following a year denotes bracelet, S, won at the World Series of Poker Europe, as of 2014. His total live tournament winnings exceed $3,100,000. On April 12, 2012, Lork plays Live at the Big Game and Mux AA 63,750 winning hand on TV setting a record as the biggest televised poker blunder in history. Amazingly, Lork successfully ends the same poker session as the biggest winner at the table. Nickname and Personality Lork became known widely in the poker scene as the Unabomber, because of the hooded sweatshirt and sunglasses he wears at the table, making him resemble the forensic sketch of Theodore Kaczynski who was known as the Unabomber. These items were given to him by fellow poker player Gus Hansen. Lork is also known for his unusual and inventive manner of speech. 
he coined the poker terms felted to mean having lost all of one's chips as well as upstuck, meaning being down from your high point of possession. He also coined the terms POW which he is uses in a self-mocking fashion and cherry bomb, which refers to large, ultimately unsuccessful bets. He is currently dating actress Jennifer Tilly, who won a WSOP bracelet in 2005 in the $1,000 buy-in Ladies No Limit Texas Hold'em Championship. Phil Locke played the first day of the main event of the 2008 World Series of Poker Incognito, in a latex mask, wig, makeup and costume. His disguise was reported thereafter by AP reporter Oscar Garcia. The WSOP 2009 rules added a new rule prohibiting wearing masks at the table. On June 2, Euro 7, 2010, at the Bellagio in Las Vegas, Locke set the world record in longest time spent playing poker in a single session. He halted at 115 hours. The previous official record, 72 hours and 2 minutes, was held by Larry Olmsted, set at the Foxwood Casino in 2004. Guinness allows one five-minute break every hour, in which Locke could do whatever he wanted, and Locke could bank those five-minute breaks into longer breaks if he played through. Locke banked several breaks to take a 30-minute nap, but he vows that he did not use caffeine or any stimulants. Playing $10-$20 No Limit Hold'em, Locke finished up $6,766 and donated half of his winnings to charity. He did this for Camp Sunshine a charity that helps sick children enjoy summer camp. His feat was witnessed live on streaming video by over 130,000 people. Notes External links, World Poker Tour Profile, Inside Poker Magazine Interview, Phil Locke Biography, News and More.